What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Really do appreciate you being here. Week 84 of reselling online and it's actually been a very solid week of progress and it's also been a very interesting week as we always know each week is a bit of a roller coaster. But the first thing that I want to kind of call out and remind you to do is to just celebrate the wins and to just remember that sometimes some weeks will be low, some weeks will be high and sometimes it'll be a mixture of this. And my example for that is this week, it's actually been one of my lowest ASP weeks, but I've had my highest record sales quantity ever. So it's something weird, but also something really, really good. So it's a small win, so make sure you celebrate the wins. Now, that is the beauty of each week, each week to its own, and that means next week could be completely different, so don't let the numbers get you down. Today, we're gonna to be touching on two things. We're gonna to touch on my weekly progress, give you guys an update, and then secondly, I wanna give you seven ways to potentially increase your eBay sales. Let's dive into the details. So, to kick it off, we're gonna go through what's been selling this week, and make sure you stick around to the end, do a bit of show and tell as well. All right, so top item number one for this week was this Billabong Woman's Sherpa Tartan Lumberjack Coat. Now, this one I picked up a couple of thrift videos ago. I've paid $4 for this as an average cost of good. It was $10 alone, and I've gone ahead and sold off $85. That was $70 bucks with $15 postage, and I've walked away with $54.13 back into my pocket. Top item number two was this Tripping the Rift Complete Season 1 and 2 TV animation cartoon series. This was Region 1. I made sure that was very, very clear. This one cost me $2, $1 each, got this out of a bulk lot, and I've sold this for $40, and after fees and postage, I've walked away with $23 and about 50 cents. Top item number three for this week was these G.I. Joe toys and a few other little action corps. These ones came out of a bulk toy box that I got. I think I ended up getting about 110 figurines from this one. So it works out the average cost for this was about $1.75, which is just incredible. I've sold this for $39. It did sit up for a while, no one took it for 30, no one took it for 36. Someone came through and paid full price at 36 bucks and I've walked away with $22.90 back into my pocket after fees and postage, of course. And then top item number four for this week was some more Lego from that big Lego haul, which now is costing me nothing. It's zero at this. The whole Lego haul did cost me, I did pay up just over $400 for it for 35 kilos. But, you know, I've made that all back now. So this, no cost to me. It was just one of the Jedi Interceptors from 2014. Not complete, dusty. Um, I've sold this for $36 and walked away with $22.17 back into my pocket after fees and postage. So one interesting item for this week and a question for you guys is this Authentics Melbourne Storm shorts. I actually picked up in the thrift video that's coming out this week and I've only, I haven't paid much from it. Worked out average cost of goods was $7.61. They were $4 in store. Now I've listed them for $39 and I think I've listed them way too low because I sold within about an hour. Uh, full price and I've walked away with about 20 bucks back into my pocket after fees and postage So be on the lookout for these but they moved very quick. All right, so week 84 How have we progressed in total? Well, we've done 71 sales margin was a little lower this week 44% cost of goods was $201 we've sold $1,784 worth of revenue and we've profited $791.91. ASP was $25.14. It's not my lowest ever, but one of my lowest weeks and my average cycle time is about 73 days, which isn't too bad. In terms of how we're tracking with progress in, in terms of my baseline of FY22, as you can see here, my baseline sales, profit, revenue, and ASP of what an average week looks like. Now for this week, which is week seven at the bottom there, we've gone up in terms of sales, we're still a little low in profit, revenue were up by 32%, and ASP obviously we're being down by 12%, so it's not actually my worst week, but it's one of my lowest weeks. And my average status for this week was about 17.22% growth. So overall, for this financial year, FY23, we're currently tracking on average about a 10% increase of growth overall. So pretty happy with that one. All right, so if you are here for the seven ways that you can potentially increase your eBay sales, let's dive straight into it. Gonna keep it short and sharp. If you've got questions about this, more than happy to come back and either answer in the comments or potentially make a video about it. So let's dive in. So the first one is sell more to sell more. The way eBay operates is they make money from fees. And just like YouTube, the longer you keep people on YouTube, the more YouTube rewards you in terms of it pushes your video out. Similar theory for eBay. Now this is a theory, this is, no one's told me this, this is just my understanding, is if you help eBay make more money, they're gonna help you make more money. So they're gonna suggest your items. So 
the best thing you can do is when people make you offers, when people, you know, are looking at your items and you send offers, when people are buying your stuff, make sure you're selling your stuff, right? Don't, don't just take offers and reject them. See how you could potentially make a sale out of that offer. Does that make sense? Sell more to sell more. Number two is run a discount. And obviously this will work different depending if you have a store or not, but you can run a discount and this encourages people to spend and it encourages people to purchase and actually click through and actually buy those items. Number three is similar to this is add a coupon to the store, send out to your previous buyers, give them a coupon, 20% off, $5 off. Once again, encourages buyers to actually spend. Number four is price competitively. If you have the ability because you have a lower cost or maybe you've got a big bulk deal that you can beat the market with your pricing, meaning if something is average sale price is around $40 and you can sell it for 35, do it. It'll help you sell quicker, help you get that sell through rate, help you move things, it will help you sell more. Number five is advertise. You can run a promo through your eBay store and this means that you're going to basically advertise your items to be ranked higher than other people's items. You could do this at 2%, you could do this at 7%, you could do it at a lot of percent. Obviously, you have to factor that into your costs, but this will enable you to put your items ahead of other people's and potentially sell them. Number six is bundle your items for better value. Rather than selling one book of one author for 10 bucks, see if you can sell three books of one author for 20 bucks or 25 bucks. It might be the same postage, it might not be, but you need to take all that into account. But the better bang for buck that you can provide to your customer, the more likely they're gonna purchase, the more likely you're going to sell more. And then the final way that you could potentially make more sales on eBay is auction off items. If you've got items you need to get rid of, if you've got things which maybe you're not too worried about not making huge dollars on, list them up as an auction, put them at 99 cents, put them at a dollar, put them at a low cost so people can come through, sweep up and clean out. That's another way that you can make more sales on eBay. I really hope this list has helped you. Now, if you've stuck around this long, we're gonna jump into some show and tell. All right, team, it is uh, Monday morning and just packing up all the goodies to go out. I think I've got one DVD I've got to grab as well, but anyway, it's just easier to do this now. So I've got um, some, I think this is Jenny Lewis going out. That went for 22, I think it was. Breakout Kings, has gone for like 18 bucks. That's sealed as well. Uh, we've got World War Z, it's gone for like 15 bucks. These two fellas have gone for 29 or 32, something around there. I've got a bit of a book sale running in, in the store at the moment. That's gone for 15 to repeat buyer. This one's gone for, I think a total of around 16 bucks. A little banged up here and there, but not too bad. Um, 24 bundle, um, that's gone for 100. Community Garden, that's gone for yeah, 24 or something. This guy's gone for, yeah, a quick 16, I think it was. Um, bundle over there has gone for 24, 25. And this guy has gone for 30. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty quiet week. I do have some Lego that I've got to get out as well, actually. Um, otherwise, yeah, not too bad. Mainly just books, as you can see. <laughs> All right, team, Tuesday evening and a couple of things uh, packing up for Wednesday postage. We've got this guy. He went for 25, I think it was. The Goofy went for 22. Um, got some books, books and one CD. Actually, it's been quiet with the DVDs front, but CD went for 10, 12 bucks. He went for 18, he went for nine. That's a tenner, that's a 25er. This guy went for 20, the one I picked up just the other day actually. And this guy's gone for 24, I think it was. So not some, uh, not some high dollar ones, but hey, movement is movement. All right, team, it's Friday morning and doing packaging. <laughs> There's a lot. We've got about 24, 25 packages, a whole bunch of different stuff. We've got some uh, Degrassi Junior High going out. Uh, that bundle's gone for about 20 bucks. French cooking book, gone for about 18 bucks. And um, these guys over here, if you remember them, they've gone for 36, I think it was, or 30. Uh, Ridge Racer, that sold within 30 minutes of listing, went for about 22. These guys have gone for 50, I think it was. Um, Monty's gone for about 20 bucks. Another Terry Pratchett book. It's gone for about 18, 16 bucks. This uh, Robin Hobb set has gone for 45. We've got a Magic Mountain from the... Um, oh, well, these ones called, you know, Franklin Library. One's gone for about 36. These guys have gone for 20-ish. Just a cheap game going out. Um, this guy's gone for 30 bucks. Pokemon's gone for 22 bucks. Got some um, G.I. Joe's going out for 39. A couple of CDs between 9 and 15. This guy's gone over to US for $35. No, $39 posted. Uh, this is 17 bucks for Del Toro Quest 
two. Uh, Costa is going for 21. Uh, Doctor Who's going for yeah, about 20 bucks. And these shorts went for 39. I think I sold them a bit too cheap. They sold very, very quick. Um, but that's all right. And also got this jacket that I picked up the other week. Um, if you guys remember the Billabong, I went for 70 plus $15 postage. So 85 bucks there. Eh? Not too bad. All right, so there you go. This week has been solid, as I said, and I do appreciate you being. If you do have any questions, any comments, chuck them down below. More than happy to continue the conversation. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Happy eBay. Cheers.